Hello everybody. I have another project I'd like to share with you all today. It's a mini album, purse mini album. And I got my inspiration from, um, I think her name is Cafe Girl on YouTube. I'm not sure. I will post the link in the description below. So if you'd like to try to make one, you could. Um, the paper collection that I use is the Su Susan Winget K & Company. It looks like this right here has some really um, pretty colors of paper in it, a lot of reds and yellow, purple colors like that. Um, the stamp collection I used in here in several different places is this one right here from Fiskars. It's called All Around Quotes and um, has a lot of different quotes you know that you might would use on a daily basis. And I also wanted to show um, some roses, but I'll get to those in a little bit from a new Spellbinders die that I have. But for right now, we'll go ahead and start with the purse. Um, like I said, I got my inspiration off of YouTube, and I will post that link in the description bar. Um, I just started off using some um, chipboard as the bottom for the front and the back. And this is a pocket um, tag mini album, I guess you would call it. And it's just the, the pages in between the front and the back are pockets, and you can put tags in those. And it also has a lot of tags, but I have a lot of stickles and different things like that on here. Um, we'll just start down here in the bottom. This right here is a Martha Stewart uh, Butterfly Punch. And this stamp is the one that I just showed you that I used. And this butterfly right here I created with um, some of the Recollections flowers. Uh, Creative Kelly from Kelly. She has a tutorial on how to do these if you're interested in making some of these. And then these flowers over here um, are just some handmade flowers. I use the, um, I think it's the EK Success um, flower punches for these, except for this one. This is a Tim Holtz um, punch that I use for my Sizzix die. And then these uh, leaves right here are recollections. And I just picked those up at Michael's, of course. And then I adhered some lace right here that goes all the way around um, the front of the, the purse. And then um, these bows right here, they were tied with um, my Bodabra. I put one on each side right here. And the little flowers right here are, are Tim Holtz, the rosebud flower, I think, or something like that. And then I put another bow over here. This right here is some seam binding that I have I purchased off of an Etsy store. And then this is I Am Rose right here flower. And then I have um, another flower that I think I, I got that off of Etsy store as well. And then this little flap, it just comes over right here and then it adheres to some Velcro up under there. And then I also have a strap that goes across the top up here so it would look more like a, a purse. And I think that's the front of it, covered that. And then this uh, little strap, it just comes across right here. It is just adhered with some Velcro right here. And then um, it opens up like this. And the first page right here is just um, like an acetate pocket. And um, you could put, you know, some pictures in here. It's, a, it's open on this end right here for you to slide some pictures under here. And uh, these right here are some Prima flowers, and I added some stickles to those. And this is some Recollections um, pearl bling on each side right here. And then for this page up here, um, let's see here. Okay, um, this is just a pocket page I made and adhered some of the organza trim with the sparkle, little sparkle dots on it. And then I put some um, pretty tags in here and just put some, um, um, gosh, I can't even think of the name of it, some stickles on all the little flowers right there. And you could journal or, you know, put a picture on here, ever how you would like to do that. And this is another tag. I put some um, glossy accents on here, I think's the name of it. Um, yeah, by. Ranger, I think, makes that. Anyway, I put that on the flower here and then um, up in here. And I just tied some lace and two little uh, 
flower rosebuds, little ribbon rosebuds on that. And, and then I have another one. I do the same way, just the stickles over the flowers. And um, put a little bit of seam binding, some pink seam binding with another little rosebud up here at the top. And then I, on here I put some, um, some pearl trim, some iridescent pearl trim, and some pink lace. I'm not sure if that's picking up too good or not. It just goes up under there. And then, like I said, this is a pocket. So you could adhere a picture down here if you wanted to. And then each pocket also has the, the big um, photo mats in them that you could use um, you know, to put your pictures on. So each pocket also has that. On this page, um, we just have some more of the designer paper down here with the Martha Stewart punch that I used. And then these little embellishments like these and these little tags and stuff like that, they came from um, the Susan Winget um, die cut cardstock. And it just it has 44 pieces of different shapes and sizes of cards. And this one is the Spring Blossom Seed is um, the name of the, the die cuts that I used in that. And it's just got a bunch of little tags. This is a, a little tag that you could, you know, put a date on or, um, you know, you could put a picture on it for that matter. And then right here is another one. You could, you know, just put a, a date or something on the back of that if you wanted to. And then this right here is another Prima Flower. I added some stickles to that. And then this right here is a Sizzix die that I put some stickles on on that. And then I have um, some more tags from the same um, paper die cut that I just showed you. And these all have um, some pretty little stickles on them. I'm not sure if they're showing up. And then another one uh, right here that you could put a big picture on that. And then you could also, you know, put a picture back here in the back if you wanted to. On this page up here, I have another Prima flower here that I added some stickles to. And then this is another Martha Stewart uh, punch here. And then I have a tag uh, right here. Not a tag, I'm sorry, envelope. And it has the uh, butterfly from um, Cherry Lynn Designs. It looks like this right here. If you're interested in purchasing some of those. It has the small lace. Fairy Queen with Angel Wing, and of course that's what it looks like. And so I just adhered that on onto the side right here. This right here is just a Recollections flower that I picked up at Michael's, and I made like a little charm right here out of some beads. And up here is the Martha Stewart fly, uh, butterfly punch, and just put two beads right there in the middle of that. And then this opens like this and just have a little card right here in the middle that you could um, you know put a picture on or whatever if you wanted to but there is a tutorial on this too um, my paper passion Leone I think it's the one that does that she has a tutorial and I'll post the link for that too and then I just have some more um, tags in here um, that you can you know put your pictures on uh, right here is just a, a photo mat that you could put a picture on. And then this right here is some um, just some white acrylic paint that I put on there. And use one of the, the stencils. And then, you know, each, like I said, each page has a tag on that. And this page down here um, just has some lace adhered, <clears throat> excuse me, to the top and the bottom here. And then some more of the organza trim that's um, right there that holds, makes the little pocket. Some more um, of the tags, real pretty tags. And another one. Oops, I have to adhere that back. Another um, tag here. And then on this page up here, um, this is a spellbinder's die that you can maybe, you know, put a date or something like that on. And then this is another um, one of the little paper sacks that you can purchase at Michael's. And I just stamped uh, a sentiment in that. And it comes from that same stamp set that I showed you earlier in the video. And then um, you just have a 
pretty tag up here on the top uh, with some gold and purple colors and then I just put some seam binding across the top with another little uh, rosebud. I have another tag here that you could you know, put some pictures on if you wanted to. And this is another one of the little small embellishments that come from that die cut. And on this side right here I have some more lace down here with some more pearls adhered to that. And some more tags um, that I just added the stickles on. Really pretty tags. And some more seam binding. A little rosebud at the top there. Another tag. With another rosebud. And some binding. And then one more tag. With the seam binding on the rosebud at the top. And then you would have a, a big place, you know, you could adhere a picture here if you wanted to. Up here on this end is some um, Recollections bling right here. And then this is one of the little photo mats. Um, this isn't the same stamp collection. And I just adhered some uh, gold stickles around all of that and put some green um, pearlized paper back here. And these are just two little rosebuds from my stash. And these two, um, these are two uh, Martha Stewart um, bow ties. And then I just put some Recollections bling in the middle of those, just the, the pearl blings. And then this just opens um, like this right here. And you could put, you know, pictures in there if you wanted to. And then you have another um, tag up here. And then on this page right here, um, I just adhered some lace right here and um, put this um, really pretty uh, Cherry Lynn Designs uh, die here. This is called the Victorian Romance Flourish and it is from Cherry Lynn Designs and that's what it looks like. Purchase it. And I just put one of those on this side and one on this side over here. And these are two I Am Roses flowers here. And I just sprayed some glimmer mist on those to give them that color. They were white. And then these three little um, green flowers right here are from uh, Recollections that just come in the bottle. They were already green and I just added some little pearls to each one of those. And then um, there's some more of the tags from the die cut uh, paper really pretty. All of them is really shimmery and pretty. And then another, um, okay, we'll go to this page next. Um, this page right here has um, another Prima flower here and some more of the Recollections Bling. Another one of the little die cuts and this is a Martha Stewart punch that I made the pocket with. And some more of the uh, little tags from the die cut and there's another one like that you could add your pictures or you could just journal on the back of them this right here is a Spellbinders uh, die cut and you could you know journal on that or add a little picture and I run that through my embossing folder to give it the um, little dot, little puppy dots I have another tag up here and on this page, I have some pretty lace in here across the bottom down here. Another one of the pretty little butterflies from the Cherry Lane Designs. And I put some more of the, the pearl bling right in here. And this is just another tag that I adhere down to make a pocket for these two, um, these two tags right here. And then the last page, um, I just ran this through my embossing floater. And I'm not sure if it's picking up or not, but all these papers are pearlized. They really are pretty. If, um, Like I said, I don't know if the camera would pick that up or not, but they are really pretty. And this is another one of the Cherry Lynn uh, Flourish Designs, the Victorian Romance. I put another I Am Roses flower here. And then this right here is another one of the die cuts. And then on this side right here, I just have two of the, the pretty um, tags that 
the foil tags that I make and you know you could put a picture on those and just put some tool at the top of that and um, tied it with some jute cord and this was just kind of in a purple with a silver tones and then the, the tool and the jute cord goes up there and then like I said there's a pocket here you could put a picture here you could put a picture here if you would like to and then it just closes back up this comes back through right here and just a, and then the back of it is um just has another one of the die cuts and this is the, the latch that goes across the front and then another one of the rounded front ends you know but it's on the back it's kind of rounded like oops, like this right here is but this is my mini purse um, if anybody has any questions just let me know um, I hope you all have a great day and thanks for watching talk to you guys later bye bye